Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to get the length of this curve shape. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the measurements panel and we're going to set the scale. So uh, I have a scale of 1 to 100, as you can see. So I'm just going to go to preset, drop this down, and it's 1 to 100. The next thing we're going to do is open up dynamic fill. So up in the measurements tools up the top here, we drop down the arrow in the end and go to dynamic fill. This pops up this toolbar, which is the dynamic fill toolbar. Um, and first thing we're going to do is add some boundaries. So we can add a boundary and we're going to click a point on this line and just click out a little bit and add a little space around the curve. Hit enter. Next, I'm going to switch to the fill painter and I'm going to click and hold inside the shape to fill it up. And now it's all filled up. I'm just going to go up to the tools up here and I'm going to create a perimeter measurement. So I'm going to select the perimeter tool and apply. This now gives me the total perimeter around that whole shape that I had filled in and I only want the curve. So what I'm going to do is zoom in a little bit and I'm going to right click on the corner points and split. I'm going to right click on this endpoint and split. Then I've just got to delete off these outside segments. And I'm left with just my curve. And then this number down here is the length of my curve. So there you go. That is using dynamic fill to get the length of a curve shape. 